this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the trimming surfaces in the surface design of the Katia V5. So I'm going to open up a wireframe and surface design workbench and now I'm going to draw a profile. So for that I'm going to create a point in the center and select the cylinder, select this point and uh, select the surface, click OK. Now I need a spline. Let's see how the trimming works. So in the trimming command, other than the normal trimming, there is another mode called as pieces. So this is an option to trim edges, so the like curves. So for that, for doing that, you need an intersection over here. So I'm going to use the intersection command before trimming. So intersection, select two surfaces, click OK, all sub-elements, click OK. So here I have uh, the intersection. So once I click on the intersection, every everything comes. So I'm clicking on intersection and uh, going to disassemble and all cells, click OK. So now all the curves are separate. Now I'm going to use the trim curves command. So go to the trim curves so the trim command and now select the mode pieces now click on the first curve and this curve see this got trimmed so you get a trimmed you, you're, you're exactly trimming in the 3d view so uh, right now you can use this this particular trim and you can uh, you know you can use it for further purposes like uh, you know you can specify the direction right here you know or you can uh, specify the direction as uh, the vertical uh, direction or else uh, you can just uh, come out right here and uh, the trim is always here so you can create a sketch which will show you the direction. So come out of the sketch. Now select the trim, select the extrude, and show the direction. And uh, you know, uh, give the distance or whatever. So this particular trim, after trimming it, you can use it for uh, further surface up surface based options. So this is the trim command, and once again. The normal trimming, uh, the mode which comes over here, the standard one, I'm going to show you that now. So I'm going to delete whatever I've created, or I'm going to take a new file, a uh, new file, my frame surface design, and uh, click on the point, OK, cylinder, center. the normal trim option, the standard one, the first option. Select whatever you want to include in that. Now if you click the preview, you can see that this side is getting trimmed. So you can swap the sides by clicking other side, next element, and other side, previous element. So if you click other side over here, this side, this side with this particular surface and this surface of the cylinder is being selected. And if, click, if you click on the other side, this this complete cylinder is being selected except the top portion. So again, you have swapping option for this as well as this. 
So this is how the trimming option works in the standard as well as pieces. So I hope you got some idea regarding this. So uh, this is it. So try this out and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe me, ask me doubts, feel free. Thank you.